Yeah, hey guys, what up? Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to read your Xbox 360 NAND. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is going to need the. Um, wait, first, guys, I'm going to tell you what you're going to need to do this. Um, okay, you're going to need a NANDX or a JR programmer. I'm using a NANDX, guys, these can read the NAND fast and everything. And it's, a, it's a nice little um, piece of equipment to use when you're doing this. It reads the NAND very, very quickly, guys. I think it's about two to three minutes. And. They're just uh, really good guys, and it writes the NAND within two to three minutes. It's a great, great thing to use. Here's going to need some uh, the wires, which will come with the NANDX. But um, you get the QSBs, and these have like these ends on the plug into the QSBs. But I just snip the wires off and solder them straight at the board because I thought it was a lot more easier to do it that way rather than mess about with the QSBs. You're going to need a solder line, guys. Okay, um, something that's got. A good tip on for um, using the small points because they're pretty small guys they're nothing big but it's just best to use have a small tip okay and um, you're gonna need a damp moist just for your solder iron um, pretty straightforward you're gonna need a little bit solder so you can solder out the points and that okay guys this is you don't need this but it is recommended guys okay so this is um some soldering flux and um, this is from radio shack but i didn't buy from radio shack guys i actually bought it off, bought it off the internet because i live in the uk and radio shack is in the us and you kind of buy this from radio shack they only shipped to the us and plus it was about six dollars or something to get shipped so i looked out on the internet guys and i bought some this isn't this sticker obviously i pulled the sticker off and i just ripped that on so i knew what it was okay guys so that is very good stuff it helps the solder stick to us and some cotton buds just to apply the flux and you're going to need some wire cutters guys so you can snip the wires um, ok so what you're going to want to do to start off is you're going to want to uh, get your flux and your cotton bud ok and you want to get just dive with your f uh, in a bit of flux ok and you're going to um, just want to stroke it on and the point you're going to solder ok and then once you've done that I will have a picture on the screen now guys or it'll be in the description because I'm not sure I'll be able to put it on the screen and um, I'm not really that good at editing the videos and stuff like that, like that. so I'll, I'll be in the description or on the screen now and that'll, sh this sh that'll show you how to um, where to solder the points and once you've done that guys just pause the video take your time and solder these onto the board Okay guys, and then once you've done that, you're going to want to get your Xbox 360 power brick, okay? Here is mine. Okay, here's my power brick. I'm just going to plug all this in, guys, and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay guys, now that we're back, we have plugged our power brick in and into the wall, okay? Now, the idea is, is that you do not turn this on. This is just to read the NAND, okay? It uh, gives it power. So we just want to lift this over to our computer, okay? And we're stuck. Okay, so if you just lift this over to your computer, guys. Oh, great, now the power brick's stuck. Just turn the power brick around like that and put that there. Okay, guys, so we just lift this over to here like this. I'm just going to move my power brick so nothing flips over or nothing when it's raining in hand. Oh. Oh, sorry about this, guys, just bear with us. Okay, so now we've done that. We want to get our Nandex, okay guys, and now we want to plug it into the USB. Okay guys, so here's me just plugging it into the USB. Okay guys, and you're going to have to install the drivers on your computer for this, and then, um, otherwise it won't work. And then once you've installed them, make sure you always plug it into that port on your uh, computer, otherwise it doesn't find the device. Now all you want to do is just plug your NAND cables into the Nandex, and we are now ready to go over to the PC and read the NAND. So I'm going to go over to the PC now, guys, and I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, so now you're on the PC. You want to download JRunner, okay? Um, you can use anything you want, G JTAG tool or even the CMD commands. But I use JRunner. It's a great program, and it's just a great program created by Team Executor, guys. Okay, so once mm. it opens up, um, you just want to hit read NAND okay and if you don't everything correctly it'll say your console uh, I already have the NANDs in there guys oh crap 
Okay, guys, if you have any of them, just click OK. Uh, and it'll start reading the NAN. But I already had uh, some NANs in there that I read, so I was overwriting them now. Okay, guys, so this is the simple part. You've done the difficult part by soldering the wires onto the board and everything like that. This is the easy part. All you're doing is clicking the button to read the NAND. Okay, guys, this take, it takes about two minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video and it'll resume once it's almost done. Okay, guys, so it's almost done. You go up to 3FF, and that is when you know it's done. It'll make a, like a sound when it's done. I'm not quite sure how to describe it. So, we're almost done here, and there we go. Okay, guys, so I already have NAN2 in there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK, and OK again if you get that error message again. Okay, guys, so it automatically reads the NAN the second time on GeoRunner. Okay, guys, yeah. Um, Okay, so this will take another couple of minutes and I'll be back once it has five, once it's almost done. Okay, guys, so we're almost done here. We're almost a 3FF again. And this is like the second NAND raid thing, whatever. Okay, guys, now automatically compares the NANDs and the NANDs are the same. But if you want to just check see if you've got any bad blocks, just click here, check for bad blocks. No bad blocks were found, which is great. Um, okay, and if you're doing the RGH, guys, you just want to flash your cool, want to create the SAC. And, okay, guys, but I'm not. I'm just showing you how to read the NAND. Okay, and if you want to know where your NAND goes to, it goes to the output here. And there you go. There's NAND dump 1 and NAND dump 2. If you just want to rename them, guys, um, just hit rename. And I'll just name them NAND 1. But make sure you do not remove the dot bin, guys, because that is a very important part. It'll, it'll basically just you waste your time reading the NAND, because then it won't work. It's got to be a dot bin. I'll see in the second one, NAND 2. Okay, so that is how you read your Xbox 360 NAND. I hope this tutorial helped, guys. And if you need any help at all, please feel free to message us. Um, I'll have all links in the description on what you need to buy. Um... I'll put a link to the flux, um, and I'll just put a link to the flux, guys, and I'll name what you need to buy in the description, because the flux will probably be the hardest thing to buy um, if you're from the UK, because this is probably Radio Shop one. This is the one you see in all the other tutorials um, on how to read your NAND when actually sold into the board. That that is the one that they use, and um, it is great stuff, guys. So I will put a link to the description if I can find one. Um, but apart from that, I'll just li list what you need to buy and what you need to use in the description, guys. And I hope this tutorial helped. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please smack that like button if this tutorial helped. And if it really, really helped, please hit that subscribe button at the top. It really helps out a lot, guys. It keeps the channel going. And I'll see you all next time in my next video. Peace out, guys.